Hello and welcome to new video. Today we want to take a look at the grand finals here for the Salt Lake City Regionals. As we see Bird Power 13 coming up against Buckeye Fitzy here, which are both now in the grand finals. Bird Power is on the winner's bracket, while Buckeye Fitzy coming from the loser's bracket means if um, Buckeye Fitzy wants to win, they have to win two best of fives, and if Bird Power wants to win, they only have to win three games in the first best of five. But of course, have then also the chance still in the second one to win. We will see on both teams here some similarities, to be honest. We see on both teams a lot of similar Pokemon. For example, both have uh, Azumarill, both have a Trevenant, both have the Medicham, both have the Licky Tongue, and both have the Galarian Stunfisk. So there's only one difference, and this is the um, Sableye on Bird Power's team, and also the Powder Snow version, actually, of the Alone Nine Tails on Buckeye Fitzy's team. We see here in the beginning a very decent lead and definitely a very decent scenario for Buckeye Fitzy as they won the lead with the Azumarill against the Galarian Stunfisk and now they also have the swap in here with the Licky Tongue in the back. You, of course, the matchup actually Licky Tongue with this, the Medicham is not as good for the Medicham as you might think. You have a fighter against the normal type, but the normal type does ghost type damage and you are also part psychic. So while this is still a winning matchup. They're going to get still to another body slam here, which is going to do some nice damage, which definitely um, will get this mage charm pretty low. They most likely gonna go now into the Sable. I try to farm it down because you don't really want to farm it down with your Galarian Stunfisk anyway. And this still definitely doesn't look that good for Bird Power. They're still gonna get to one more Ice Punch here, which gonna do around 20% to the Sable Eye and will weaken it quite a bit, actually a little bit more, 25% more like this. And now you have in the bag one Azumarill and also one Licky Tongue. And of course, this does not really look too good for Bird Power, but we will see what still can happen here. We see that they can go for the return, the Trigo to go for the return immediately. They could just shield here, to be honest, and yeah, they shield here and shield the high hit hitting move there, which is a very smart play. We go see the combo play from Bird Power going for one Earthquake now, but at the end of the day, Buckeye Fitzy is basically in the driver's seat here. There's not a lot that they can do to lose this anymore. They have um, basically perfect alignment now, and the Azumarill will be able to go for one Ice Beam still in time, but they actually could just go ahead, shield this, and farm them all the way down. Whatever they really want to do, there's not really a way to lose this, I think. The Earthquake does knock them out, which they, I don't think they really expected it to do that much damage, but they can just farm down now this um, Stunfisk. They can let this move go through, this is only a rock side. And they of course count it, and they will be able to just go for the lick down now, I think. And this should be a pretty decent game, but actually it got way closer than I thought it would be. They're actually gonna go for one power whip now. Do they let this go through? Do they shield this move up? They're going to shield this move up. A very nice decision there. Maybe they actually can still flip it. I'm not sure. We will see that they still have a body slam, which they're going to go now for it. Do they shield this one up? We are seeing a no shield here. Very nice de decision here. But they still have to get to two foul plays, and there's no way, to be honest. There's no way that they get to two foul plays in time. It's going to be close. They actually have hard two foul plays, but the leg damage just goes through there, and they will lose the first round. But still, we will see some more runs coming up. I don't know who's going to win this. Let's see ourselves. Second game loading in here right now. We will see that... Um, yeah, we will see a matchup that is definitely way better for Bird Power. Seeing the Medicham in the lead against the Galarian Stunfisk is definitely very good, and seeing now a safe swap of Licky Tang is also pretty decent. Especially if they go straight for the Psychic, getting some damage off of this is pretty nice, as Psychic wouldn't do any damage or like the charge moves in general from Medicham don't really do that much damage against a Stunfisk. They're going to get hit by one Body Slam now, but they can easily let this go, and they might just want to go into their own Licky Tang now, because they're gonna get the Licky Tang of. Um, but I fit see uh, that low that they easily will be able to win this matchup. No, they have a shield advantage, they're going to have switch advantage, and they're most likely going to keep their shields as well, which means that even though now we see that they have still the Sableye in the back, you see on the opponent's part in the zoom roll, this is usually a bad matchup for the Sableye, but with a shield advantage, Sableye with the return, the Shadow Claw damage, will have a pretty decent time here. What we just see here, the Ligitang matchup, we are just licking each other down and going for Body Slam. Nothing too crazy. Um, I think after the lick, maybe one body slam is already enough to KO Buckeye Fitzy's 
Um, uh, Dicky Tang here, but I'm not sure it's like around this range what damage the body stem would do here. Let's see how much it's going to do. They're gonna go for the move now, which is a perfect CMP timing. That's kind of crazy to be honest. Um, that's a very decent counting from bird power here. Very, very strong. We will see that the Licky Tang actually goes down. They have the uh, basically the most amount of energy that they could have got out of this matchup. They're going to have the switch advantage now. They're going to have the energy advantage and they will 100% still get to a uh, power whip here against this Galarian Stunfisk. So this looks uh, very decent for bird power at this point of time. They have a shield advantage and they will also now get some damage still on the Galarian Stunfisk. Gonna put them close to half half is they go for still one Earthquake. They have to go for the Earthquake here to KO you. And you can shield this, but you of course don't really want to shield it as you have the Medicham still alive. And no matter what they really have in the back, there is nothing really that would threaten you here because if you saw like previous games, you know that this alone nine tails in the back, which they could have had, which would have hard walled, usually the Sableye, is actually the Powder Snow version. I think even then the Sableye might win this in the Oh, uh, two versus one shield scenario. But here against the Azumarill, they can shield up the Ice Beam here, of course. They're going to now don't waste the extra five energy for the play rough, which is fine for you. But you will be able to go for a return, and this return will do a ton of damage. And let's see if it goes unshielded. We will be able to see if it does go unshielded, and it does go unshielded. We will see that they can go basically to the deep yellow half, now in the red half already, and they can go straight for the foul play here, getting there before they go get to one more play rough. They will survive it as far as I know, but this will get them low enough that they can just let this go. They don't really need the Sableye anymore. Let the play rough go through here and they can just farm it down with the Medicham. Medicham has basically the perfect alignment now. You have the Galarian Stunfisk getting super effective damage from it. You can counter down this Azumarill and two counters. You are close to another Ice Punch and you can just basically win this game here. Is there any way that they can lose it if they no shield this potential rock slide there? as we see the shield coming up, which is important. And yeah, that would have been crazy though if they no shield this. Like imagine you basically already done here. There was not, nothing that really happened there. And then you no shield this one would lose from this, but like this, there is nothing that Bugger Fitz can do here. And there's going to be the one one getting into the third match as this ice punch will be able to knock them out. And we see the third match now. Two games for each to win the best of five. Let's see who's gonna win this. Going into the next match here, the third match, we will see that we have the alone nine hits here with the Powder Snow against the Galarian Stunfisk, which is pretty fine for you. As you're going to do more damage with your Rockstar than they do with the Weather Ball. They're going to outspeed you for the second Weather Ball, as the second Weather Ball only needs four Powder Snows. I think actually Ninetales was able to win this matchup in the two shield scenario prior the um, Weather Ball nerf, which was then, yeah, basically fixed this matchup for them. Now the Galarian Stunfisk will be able to easily win this one. There's, I don't think there's a way that they would be able to lose this, but like this, you can go some get some damage here still on the Galarian Stunfisk with your Ninetales, which is nice. I don't know if they want to let this move go through or like the Ninetales go through, but no, they're actually going to... Um, go into the Licky Tang and they get met by this Medicham here, which definitely going to have an okayish time. Again, Lick damage going to add up a lot here. We see the Body Slam coming through. Body Slam going to do some nice damage here against the um, incoming Medicham as well. Going to put him at half health. Do they shield up the Psychic here? This is the question. Do they save all the shields for the Trevenant in the back or not? We have to see here. They're going to let this move go through, which is definitely. Kind of a mistake there, as you're going to now still get to one more move, but you should have went for the Body Slam, definitely. Body Slam would have been able to get at least a shield there. But like this, this game is basically over already. You have now perfect alignment for Bird Power again. Bird Power will be able to now go even for one Ice Punch against this Trevenant. They have a Licky Tongue in the back and Bird Power knows already they have this game definitely won there. As this Ice Punch is going to get shielded, but it doesn't really matter too much. They have the Licky Tongue in the back. The Trevenant cannot do anything against the Licky Tongue. And you already know that you can align your Galarian Stunfisk again against the opposing um, Ninetales. And you already have some um, energy, I think, still left on the Stunfisk anyway. So this looks like definitely a very, way better matchup for Berta Power here. As we see that the Seed Bomb going to go through here, you're going to be able to take three Seed Bombs from the Trevenant on your Licky Tongue. The fourth one would KO you. But um, we will see that... Yeah, the next seed bomb is coming through. There's no reason really for bird power to shield here. 
you can get some extra energy, you're most likely going to try to throw the power whip here as well soon. But they might try to catch here on the nine tails, but they can catch on the nine tails. They will not shield it because they know it's resisted. Um, but there's not a lot that bug I fits. Oh, they're actually going to shield it. I'm, I'm surprised to be honest. But I guess like they have to rely on this one. Like they have two shields still left on bread power. They can just shield. They don't shield this up again. I said three of them are not enough to KO you. They need a fourth for that. Three you can take, and we will see that they're most likely going to swap out soon. They swap out now into. The nine tilts, uh, they can get sniped now by this rock slide, and with two shields, two Pokemon against a half dead, um, half dead that tree, it's going to be a pretty easy game there for Bird Power to finish off this match here with one more rock slide. They're still gonna go for the seed bomb, just, um, I don't know, trying to go for some touch moves here. Maybe they don't shield, even though they have two shields left. But we will see that this rock side is coming through, and we will be able to see the win here for Bird Power. They need one more win to win it all. Going undefeated then, let's see what the final game gonna look like. It is time for the final game here as we're going to see the Lickitung with Lickitung, the matchup that everybody loves to see. Let's take a look for two hours if they lick each other down here or not. We we'll just see, yeah, they're just going to stay in here. But what we see already is the backlands. We have we see two Galarian Stunfisk on both sides. Actually interesting to see as well the um, CP of Brad Paul's Galarian Stunfisk seems pretty low for that one. So they most likely don't have a high rank one there. Or like I think like some of the high rank ones just don't get the final power up. But still I guess fine because in the finals I guess IVs don't matter too crazy for this Pokemon. We will see just now the... Um, yeah, the matchup between both of the Licky Tongues going for body slam against each other. Very interesting. But what we can see as well is that Bird Power brought their Trevenant, and we see on Buckeye Fitzy's part, we see the Medicham. So, as long as Bird Power can keep the alignment up, they definitely going to win this match here because they basically have perfect hard walls. And even if not, getting rid of the Licky Tongue right now of Buckeye Fitzy will be the key to win this game here because of course Trevenant will also be very decent against the Galarian Stunfisk Scrum but I fit these so this looks really nice for Bird Power to win this one here let's see how it's gonna go we will see that the Licky Tongue going for more body stamps here as we are kind of getting closer to the point where the Licky Tongues are going for the CMP tie and let's see who's going to win this one um, we will see that they're going for the same one and Bird Power is going to have a little bit more of attack which gives us the chance here to see that they're going to shield up interesting one they really want to have the alignment i guess but bird power can just mirror it here but they're actually going to let this move go through interesting one here they're going to go into the galarian stunfist and get a ton of energy i guess which is i think a very smart play because if you look at the team of bug if there's nothing that really wants to come into the um galarian stunfist anyway other than maybe the Medicham, and for the Medicham you still have your tree in the back, which is going to be, yeah, your Trevenant, and for the Trevenant there's only one answer, and this is the Lickitung, and the Lickitung is currently on the field. So, for uh, Bird Power, this is a super smart move. I don't know if they had to throw this move here, to be honest. Um, I think that was kind of not necessary, but it is fine here, that's going to knock them out, and we will see now definitely the Medicham coming in, we will see most likely a sweep from the Trevenant here, as Trevenant will be able to have a great time against both of the opponent's Pokemon. We actually see an Earthquake coming in here first. This Galarian Stunf is gonna go to town, gonna get all the energy from the Medi from the Lickitung now onto this Medicham. We will see that they swap out immediately, and this game should be over. They can shield up the Ice um, Punch here, and as there's no hard wall in the back anymore for Buckeye Fitzy, there is basically no way to win this game anymore um they can just go ahead go now for one shadow ball try to knock out the galarian stunfisk and this should be a pretty decent game there let's see what's going to happen here we're going to see a shield maybe they can still come back i'm not sure um galarian stunfisk actually can two shot the traveling with two rock slides i think at this rate um, as it needs a little bit more of pre-damage to get the KO with that. Rockside does around 40%, I think. So, like, 20% damage from, like, fast moves would do enough, but it's actually going to be closer than I thought. Maybe the game is still not over. We have to see. We see the Shadow Ball coming through here. And the Shadow Ball will do some nice damage. 
But actually, maybe it's still not over. We see the rock slide coming through. They might want to catch a rock slide. I'm not sure if they can catch a rock slide, if it's too obvious to catch a rock slide. Or if they just go for one seat bump. Never mind, so one seat bump will be enough already from this range to KO the Galarian Stunfist. You don't really have to catch anything here. You can just go ahead and go straight for the seat bump. Seat bump will knock out the Galarian Stunfist gear. And we will see that bird power then can align their ghosty tree here against the opposing um, Medicham. And this will be a good game. And congrats to both players here, by the way. Both of them will be able to go to Japan for the regionals. This is all about the prize money and, of course, about the title and the in-game item for the um, regional t-shirt. But yeah, Bird Power going to win this. Congrats to you. Also, congrats to your opponent. Both of them are now heading to Japan, hopefully, for the finals. So congrats to them. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.